Okay, quick audio check. <clears throat> quick check. One last check. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. I'm back at it with more Stardew Valley. Yesterday, like, I almost talked for the whole stream, which is actually kind of cool and miraculous. So, um, I don't know if I can do that today, <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. Um, kind of like yesterday, I do have, like, an article pulled up to, like, match with like today's topic which is gonna be um awkwardness which i think i have an extensive knowledge of go ahead and get started okay so yesterday we finished off with week one of summer now we're heading into week two just gonna be focusing on planting farming building up the farm as usual i do have hella coal so i kind of want to um, what you call it, build some more preserve jars and hives before we go mining again. Hey, yo, sad it! Hi, Katie. Got cutie Lee in the chat today. Hope you're doing well today, man. Hope you're doing okay. Sad it! <laughs> I, like, I was talking yesterday about, like, I don't know what I want, like, my catchphrase to be. But I'm thinking Sadu would be pretty lit. <laughs> You're Rona? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I hope you get better soon. I mean, it seems like everybody is going to get sick after the holidays because... I told you before, but like, my family, everyone except me in the house went to like, a holiday party the week before Christmas. And I told them not to go. Thankfully, we didn't get sick. Like, we dodged the COVID bullet. Thankfully, this season. But, like, everybody's getting sick, dude. Overtron is fucking everybody. Thankfully, everyone in my house was able to get our boosters um, in early December or late November, so, like, we were protected. But still, it was bad. I mean, are you getting PTO right now, or is it... Are you using, like, your sick hours right now because I know when I was working my employer 
would make people use their sick hours, and then they had to apply through the government to try and get... <clears throat> um, what you call it? Like, compensation from the government through unemployment to cover their sick days because of COVID, which is bullshit. No way! Fuck, I'm sorry, Katie. Oh. oh, man. Oh, that that's bullshit, man. I, I'm sorry, dude. Oh, you should have told me sooner. I'm sorry. We can talk about it later. Um, But I, I fucking hate that shit. Like, <laughs> Cuppy's going under. Yeah, get out now. Get out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, tomatoes. Okay, we'll for sure do the tomato goal. Harvest hunter. Okay, we can for sure do that. Let's do it. But it's... This is why, like, I don't want to work under anyone else ever again. Because they have so much power over you, and it's... I mean, that's how companies are. Um, But it's just... It's not fair. It's... I don't understand how <laughs> capitalism is still, like, widely accepted. <clears throat> like, if I ever have my own business, like, I will treat everyone right. Like, I don't care if I lose money. Like, even if I take home, like, such little profit- Why- why- do, <clears throat> Why do I- so many tomatoes? It's like, if I'm still making enough to, like, get by, then I'm fine, you know? Like, I don't need to be raking in millions and billions. <laughs> Slash serious. <laughs> oh, my mom had a phase when she was into like fairies and shit. So she'd have us make little dolls and stuff. And then she had a phase where she didn't make voodoo dolls, but something very similar to voodoo dolls. So like I I can hook you up with that man. Oh, my voice is so fucked up today. I don't know what's going on. I got more sleep than usual, and by that I mean I got six hours instead of five. You know, we're popping off today. I bought so many fucking tomatoes. Oh my god. Oh, I need to- I need to- ooh, it's Monday. I need to go buy more hay, actually. Oh, fuck. I opened the gate. The business can't exist without exploitation. The business should not exist. Base- base take. Tweet that, Katie. Um, that, that's a good take. I think to an extent, there is, like, an- to me, a business should be an exchange between employer and employee. Implying that you are- as an employee, you're offering your services in time help the business succeed and then in return she's not there and then in return the employer should offer adequate and fair wages and then also treat employees with respect and like take care of them because it is it's a competitive market right now especially with like <clears throat> how some companies are offering incentive wages more benefits like employers should not expect people to just apply just because they need a job you know Oh, well, there's nothing here. Let's go ahead and get some hardwood while we're here, actually. Yeah, because when I was looking up- I talked about yesterday how I was looking up, like, how to make money quick. And the only thing that's, like, to where you can do basically nothing- Not that it's nothing, but it's, like, the survey sites, which is fine. But you're basically spending like 15-20 minutes to get the equivalent of 10 cents. Which is like... Kind of weird. Then it's like, if you have time, then why not do it? I don't know, I'm indifferent about it. Because like, I'll do those surveys when I'm like, watching something. <clears throat> Ooh, wrong one. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go into today's topic, which is how does one not be awkward? For the longest time, I know it's kind of unbelievable because I stream now and try and put myself on the internet, but I used to be very, very quiet. I, as you can tell, I still mumble and shit. Like, that's obviously a tell. 
like when you don't have like confidence when you're speaking. Today is gonna sound, I was thinking about this, um, it's gonna sound like one of those fake motivational speaker videos, you know? Where they're like, talk from your chest, you know? Do what you wanna do. But, not that it's a fake personality, but I, I do ham it up a bit for Kim. Like, I have an on personality and an off. But I have an article from Social Pro Now. It was the first result on Google. I did not do a lot of research. <laughs> um, but it is called what's it called actually? Fifty seven tips to not be socially awkward parentheses for introverts. Published September twenty second, twenty twenty two. So I was just perusing through it and it <laughs> Sections are how to not be, or not being awkward around people, not being awkward in conversation. Overcoming awkwardness if you have social anxiety. Me. So hopefully, I learned something and Chak learned something today. So today we're just going to be perusing through that article a little bit. If there's any lols or lol w's, you know. And clown on it a little. <clears throat> I know for me, it's difficult to like think of what to talk about or like what to say. Because I don't do much. I don't go out much. Like, last time I went outside was to take out the trash, and that was a few days ago. Mainly because like I don't have a reason to be out and about as of recent. Oh, I forgot to buy more seeds. Rip. Oh, I did. Dash. Let's actually plant more of these tomatoes. That way you can guarantee we'll get them all done by the mission time. We can always destroy them when we get more seasonal seeds. I know when I was little, i.e. elementary school, I would cry a lot. Like, a lot. Looking back, it's because, like, I probably had, like, anxiety, right? But when you're a kid, you're just called sensitive. Or, like, you're making too big of a deal out of things. Like, I remember one time, this had to be in, like, fourth grade. I cried because we had a reading time. Like, silent reading. SSR, silent... Ooh, fuck. S <laughs> SRT. <laughs> that wasn't the acronym, but it was basically silent reading time. <laughs> Take that CRT out of school. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, and I remember I got upset because the reading spots in the room, because there was like special chairs, like bean bags, that, you, that was designated just for reading time. And I got upset because for certain chairs and stuff, you could save up, like, your class points or tokens. And then redeem it to sit in special chairs for the day. And I remember me and this other person redeemed, like, the special reading stool on the same day. And the teacher was like, oh, whoever gets it first gets to sit in it for the day. And so, like, we both ran to the chair, right? But they beat me. And I was upset because I, I wasted my points. And, and like, the bitch took the chair before I did. And I started crying because, like, I was obviously upset. Like, I think in the moment, <clears throat> I was probably, like, overwhelmed. Because, like, no knowing that something was, like, given to you and then taken away instantly almost. Because, like, it was a competition at that point, right? And I was crying, and like, I could, like, and there's not much you can do as an educator. Like, you're not supposed to touch the kid. You know, that's a no-no. You can't be touching kids. Um. So, like, she was just like, oh, you know, go cry it out. It'll be fine. So, like, I'm just sitting 
on the floor because like there was no more special chairs. Granted, we, you were allowed to sit on the floor for reading time. And oh fuck, it's too late. And I'm just like reading to myself, like just quietly sobbing. And there was a lot of instances of that happening at school. Mainly, they were all in times in which I'd get overwhelmed or like really upset. It's I think it was because when someone invalidates by your feeling in the moment, to me, that makes it ten times worse, right? Because you see everyone else is fine or that everyone else is not standing up for you and then you see everyone else just like continuing on with their normal day. I think that's honestly why. I mean, when you're that young, you can't under you don't have that grasp or understanding of that being the reason why you're upset. But looking back, that was definitely part of it. Yeah, I definitely need to rearrange. Cheers. Oh, I gotta preserve this. Anyway, so not- I was never necessarily bullied. I was mainly just like... Excluded out of a lot of things. Because... I guess I was seen as sensitive. Like, I never really had a guaranteed, like, partner or buddy in class. Man, you, you did have, like, playmates and stuff. Like, people you play with at recess. But I never really had anyone who, like, always wanted to play with me. I never really had anyone who was, like, always their first pick. And it was like that up until, like, high school. Like, which is fine. That's how it is for some people. But it still felt bad, you know? Okay, I'm gonna see if I have any more summer seeds. And then... I think I put them in this crate. Not it. Okay, so I will have to buy more tomorrow then. So I kind of want to make more preserve jars. See what we need for those. Woodstone coal, woodstone coal. Man, we got hella coal. Sheesh. Oh. <laughs> oh man, we can only make eight? Darn. Okay, so back to mining it is then. Actually, what did we need to upgrade our house? Wasn't it wood and hardwood, I believe? Not remember. Now we got lots of parchment. Grab a handful of those. So I'm gonna bring a handful of wood. Oh, do we need 200 hardwood? It, we might need 200 hardwood. It was 150 or 200. One of the two. That way when we go up to the mines tomorrow, we can check in with Robin. If she's even there, because tomorrow it's Tuesday. But she might not be there. There we go. I also kind of want to buy more seeds as well. Didn't I buy, like, a boatload of parsnip seeds or something? I feel like I did. I guess I used them all. Okay, that, that's that's fine, honestly. Oh, <laughs> back outside we go. Okay, up six k.
So we're gonna be focusing on mining today. Probably popping by the store to buy some seeds as well. Dank crows. I say that when I have literally no scarecrows out. <laughs> I just don't see the point of having the scarecrows. They don't even work that well. It's annoying. Yeah, Marnie's not going to be at her shop because it's Toes Day. I said that weird. <laughs> toes Day, innit? Nope, we're not going to do that again. Okay, I'm focusing right now. This part is always so hard for me to, like, grasp, because you've got to press the button so many times. My brain's not big enough to handle it. Okay, there we go. weird how the hot peppers are categorized as fruit technically in the game. Still weird to me. I wonder if you get different prices if you sell in the grocery shop rather than the mailing box. I mean, no biggie. Like, we're actually going there today, but... I assume it's the same. Oh my god. I'm gonna be breaking down the door. There we go. Yeah, let's buy some radishes. That's it locked. Sell our shit. I don't know. Let's hope Robin is there. He might be. If not, I will be sad. I'm sad. Let's see where she goes. Oh, damn it. We'll have to check tomorrow, boys. <laughs> okay. The, the first section of the article is like, signs that you might be awkward. And then in quotation marks, am I awkward? How can I know for certain? I think awkwardness is part of like how you present yourself and then also how people perceive you, right? So that's also leading back to confidence, right? Like if you make yourself seem more confident, to me you also seem less awkward. Granted there is like a balance between like being like, confident in your speech, and then, like, overly cocky. Like, if someone is being 
excessively egotistical, yes, they're being confident in the moment, but they're also... It may be awkward, because if it's not generally accepted to be that cocky, then it's kind of weird to be around them, right? I don't think I've met a super egotistical person. Like, I've definitely met confident people. But not like an even maniac, you know? I love the music of the lower levels. Mainly because I don't go down them that often. It just sounds more like creepy. Which definitely fits the vibes, you know? <laughs> that slime was raring to go, guys. <laughs> I think especially with like commentary and like the way you deliver your jokes, especially dry comedy, you have to be able to stick with your bit. Like you can't deliver it unpassionately, like it's not gonna land. People are not gonna be able to tell if you're being serious or not. Because a lot of dry humor is... Oh fuck. You mean good or not based on your tone and inflection. I'm gonna heal up all the way because the lower levels is where I get clapped every time. Okay, we should be fine. Okay, just looking through, like, the list of signs <laughs> of what being awkward could be. Let's see, let's see. Use this checklist as a starting point. <laughs> Do any of these sound you? You never have I ever. <laughs> Keep a tally mark in the chat. You are uncertain about how re how to react to others in social settings. Hmm. I think definitely for me, that was like a learned, right? Like there's certain points in which you laugh and certain points in which you grimace, right? I think at this point, I know how to react to things, and I think I'm at the point where I specifically know what to say in order to get the reaction I want. But also, I always tend to like overthink my responses or actions because I don't want them to be perceived in a way that is negative. So for example, as we were talking about yesterday, when you're chatting, I hold back a lot of my jokes or like trolley bits because I know it's a, they're like the bit is there like the joke is there but also is that gonna be like a positive contribution is this gonna make the vibe stay up or is it gonna bring it down so definitely I've like learned how to approach things in a way that is I was gonna say non-confrontational, but like, I'm, I'm a debate Andy, so... I would say like, I know how to respond to get the reaction that I want, rather. When in previous situations, like in school, like if it was a group of people or a group of friends talking, I'd very much be the person observing what is happening. 
Mainly because I was raised to be courteous. Like let people go first, always share, that type of thing. And always let everyone's voices be heard. So I know in those type of like group discussions or group situations, if I didn't let everyone else talk first, then I personally felt like I was interrupting or like ruining the conversation. We're gonna heal up because a lot of enemies. Very good. Why is there a heart over there? Why does that guy have an exclamation point? I don't get it. Oh my god. I'm... Break. Oh no, this is not good. Oh my god, that was scary. Like, actually scary. I'll have to look that up later, what the exclamation point means for the slime. Maybe... Because one had an exclamation point and the one had a heart. So maybe if you let them come together... Like, some type of cutscene thing will happen? No! Oh my god. That was close. Oh my god, there's like nothing in my health bar. Like, nothing. <laughs> okay, we're back in the yellow, we should be good. Not seeing any purple mushrooms. Oh, I forgot. It's in like level 90 where they start spawning, I believe. Let's actually go check. I think it's 90. No. Is it 100? No. Is it 110? No. <laughs> the 115? No. <laughs> Which one was it? Because I know one of these levels, it spawned like mushrooms right away. And eh, no biggie. We'll come to it. <clears throat> Another thing it says, he says here, it says you always feel nervous around new people. And this nervousness makes it hard for you to relax. I think I know oh my god this is super cringe but senior in high school it was like the first day of gym class no it wasn't senior it was either junior or senior year where I had to take PE or gym class and like it was like the introductory day so it was just like getting to like see if you had any friends in class right And I remember there was like one kid, my junior, like younger than me, and he was like standing by himself. And I went up to him because you could only be partners with people in your grade. And I was like, hey, you know, you'll get there one day. Like, you just gotta be like not scared to like approach people, and make friends. And then <laughs> later in the class, like later, like a couple weeks later, they had like friends in the class. So then they'd always be partners and stuff. And then I didn't have any friends in the class. <laughs> so I'd always be like the person who the teacher would have to like pick a partner for. And it just felt so like ironic. 
Where it's like the girl who like approached a rando but like not being scared to like make friends. And then I'm the one who never has a partner. Good shit. Level 4 deck. I don't like the daggers because they don't have enough range. Oh, we got a helmet. Ready for the next day. One sec, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, we're good. We gotta bring the vegetable. I wonder how close we are to finishing that gold star mission. Let's see, actually. Ooh, four more? There, boys. Okay, so it's Wednesday, so hopefully Marnie's at her shop. And then Robin should be at the wood shop. You can also check if we can upgrade the house. Conversations often in a wall, and there's then there's an awkward silence. I mean, isn't that normal? Like, I don't think conversations are supposed to be like indefinite. Or, I mean, maybe it's not normal. Thoughts? Come on, please be there. Ah, let's go. We're gonna buy a fat stack of hay. Here we go.
And I wished I looked up what I needed for that house upgrade. I know I can look it up on the wiki, but that's cheating. I say that, but I do sometimes look at the wiki, but that's only if I'm like stump stumped. Oh, frick. Ooh, hardwood baby. Let's plant that other mahogany seed. There we go. Ooh. Lots of stuff today. I wish the wine was faster. Honestly, it takes forever. I've been aching to play more Mario Kart though. Because I've been holding off on online because it just destroys my confidence. But I've been like itching to play some more. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to talk to Robin. Maybe tomorrow we can drop off the gold star crops. Oh, I didn't sell my shit. And too late now. I just have to work with a full inventory. Might go mining. No biggie. Okay, cool. That started. Now we have 38k. We're broke bitches again. And that's A-OK, -okay, because now we're one step further to getting the wine cellar. I don't know why I tried to chop that down. Well, that guy's coming for me right away. Oh fuck. I got a hit. I need to, like... <laughs> get better at the combat, because I just spam A and hope for the best. But I know you're supposed to time your hits more. That's also how I play Pokemon Unite. I just, I just spam A and hope for the best. play <clears throat> my exercise game today because since the dryer is still up hopefully it's fixed today because after my dad fixed it yesterday he it still wasn't working so he had to get another part but he's working on it right now but I have no clean towels <laughs> 
And like we could go to the laundromat, but then it's like, what's the point of waiting for going to the laundromat when you just gotta wait two hours, right? Because like I cannot exercise and then not wash up afterwards. Like I hate having the feeling of sweat. It's icky. Like my schedule was a little bit off today. Oh, freak. Yeah, you know why I said yesterday that my headset wasn't working? Like my left ear, but now it's working. I don't know what the deal was. <clears throat> Not that I bought a new pair for nothing, but she needed she need I needed a new one. <laughs> These rock dudes always get me. They always debate me. Oh, is my inventory full? Yeah, it is. I don't need them. What don't we need? Don't give me any solar essence since I'm mid. Another thing I'm trying to do for a stream is because before I used to have like my TV audio and then like something else playing in my earbud. But now I'm gonna try and just have. I know that's not good to do because one, I'm distracting myself and not focusing on commentary as much. Because like going back to the theme of like oversensitizing yourself. So like I'm gonna try and focus on talking more. I know I, I keep saying that, but that's something generally I need to work on. Fuck! Oh, dude, that- man, there's been so many close calls in the mines this week. Sheesh! thing that's been happening too is since I spent a lot of my day like looking at screens because I'm either like watching something or editing or like playing a game my eyes are hurting a lot more oh that was good so, like when I get to the end of the day like it's not both my eyes it's like one eye it's usually gonna be like my right eye because my left eye works less than my right eye. Because my left is far and then my right is nearsighted. Nope, my right is far sighted and my left is nearsighted. So if I don't wear my glasses all the time, it wears out my eyes or something like that. Like whenever I do finally take my glasses to like lay down in bed and get ready for bedtime. <clears throat> they hurt or they're like sore 
Because, like, out of everything, I think your eyes are the thing you use the most. Because they're always on, quote unquote, all day. Like, it's not like you can shut off your eyes. <laughs> I was also thinking, like, how else can I really commentate over Mario Kart? Because it's not like you can really do story time. Because I know that's like more of a fast paced game. But in comparison to like Stardew Valley, right? Where you can usually just zone out and play. Because I would, I think I might edit down some of the Sturdy Valley clips, but there's, to me, there's not like something substantial, because it's usually just me talking about stuff. And I know me as a viewer, like I like gaming clips because like there's something going on on screen versus someone just talking. But if it's like a creator that I really enjoy, I can watch them just have like a just cutting chatting clip. I think it just depends on the person. I might spend the rest of today like editing down some of my Stardew Valley clips from yesterday. I would just not shut up yesterday, my god. I'm very full, Sedge. everything here. Yeah, no more mahogany seeds. Go ahead and plant that real quick. See if you can plant one seed in two hours. There we go. I know you can ferment the cheese, but like honestly, I'd rather focus on fermenting my wine because it does take longer. Hey, there we go. Up 6k again, nice. I love the summer music, man. Oh, look at all these guys. Oh, I got an achievement. You hear that ding? 
Or I think it's the mission. Actually. There we go. I don't know if the shop's gonna be open because it is the festival today. I don't think it's gonna be open. It's a good thing we did the house upgrade yesterday then. Another thing on this list that says you find it hard to make eye contact with people. Not anymore, dude. When I'm having conversations, I will stare into people's eyes. Maybe I think of it as like a power move. <laughs> See who can maintain eye contact the longest. Because like I know it'll make people uncomfortable, but like I'm not scared of that. I kind of see it like a competition, like whoever breaks eye contact first loses. Oh, that's a lot of shit. Roots to the side, too. I think the potatoes do did well in this stew. It's either potato or corn that the mayor liked. Or the governor, rather. And I need to get that silo set up. This is getting annoying. <laughs> You gotta hurry up. Don't want to miss out on the governor. Oh my god. Did I not replant my seeds? Oh my god, I didn't. Good thing I checked. There we go, save. There we good, there we go. Okay, let's grab a potato. the beach I 
I wish the cutscenes were different every year. Only if all the characters did the same thing. You know, it'd be a nice easter egg. Let's hope the potato works. <laughs> Seems kind of basic, but we'll see. When, I think I added peppers and he said it was disgusting. They don't stand the governor. Okay, nothing cool. See if we can find Kent, because he's the only one who wasn't here last year. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Nothing substantial to say. This guy is awkward. Kent is awkward. He's gonna be our case study for today. <laughs> what a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. Oh, I gotta talk to <laughs> the mayor. <laughs> Look sharp. The governor's here for his annual visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure and add it to the soup, cauldron. Should we move forward with the luau? The governor seems a little hungry. Yeah, let's go. Come on, let's hope he loves our potatoes. Crossing my fingers. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pots here. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Oh no, I put a silver one in there. Well, Governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. It looks disgusting. It's like a grayish color. Ooh. It's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. Ah, let's go. We did it, boys. Hmm. Tasty. Y'all did very well today. See, potatoes are so basic. I don't get why... Like, add something to fancy. Now, who else wants some soup? Can you add, like, seafood or fish? Question mark? Like, some shrimp or something would be good. Okay, back to the farm. Yeah, I definitely want to go mining again tomorrow, that way I can get more coal. Or actually, it's Thursday, but tomorrow's gonna be Friday. We should probably give gifts to people, huh? Oh, I need- I need to drop off the quality veggies in the shop tomorrow. See how many do we need? Oh, only 25, okay. Yeah, let's give everybody parsnips and some fruit. <laughs> let's see if the kiddos like the peppers. Because <laughs> the, the kiddos, they like some fruit and then they hate some others. I don't get it. Oh, oh my god, 16k. What do we even sell? Oh, I just had hella mead. Okay, I was like, man, that's not a- Got the bag. Oh, look at all our hives. Gotta be careful not to pluck the flowers, though. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I mean, frick. <laughs> there we go.
I know there's more efficient ways of placing your beehives, but I honestly just like how it looks on the border. I like a lot of straight edges, personally. Little shrubs blocking our way. I know when I got this game, I would play it for like hours and hours because I really like repeated mechanics. Because it's not a game that requires a lot of skill, so it's very easy to like pick up and fall in love with, right? Things here. Because I don't play this game off stream anymore because my personal saves are all like maxed out. Like year four, year five, so there's nothing much I can really do now. Okay. Go check on our animals. Oh, it's full. Didn't even look. <laughs> Another thing that's on this list of signs if you have anxiety is when you receive an invitation to a social event, you feel anxious. Or even have a sense of dread. Well, actually me. Because, not to say that I'm a flake, but I like hanging out with people. It's just, the anticipation of like the moments right up to it, I get really nervous. Because like, I didn't go to like any house parties in school or college. Or granted, I was in online college, so like, not like they had any house parties. Because, like, I don't want to cancel, but sometimes I just get too nervous to go. It's probably because I make things seem like a bigger deal than they actually are in my head. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I was going to hand out the peppers. Okay, so let's get to gifting. Or it's raining. I don't know if many people are going to be at the bar tonight, actually. Oh, I forgot to get milk for this guy. You might like honey. Ah, there we go. Easy clap. Okay, let's see if Linus is in his tent. Should be, because it's raining. There we are. I love how Linus appreciates, like, any crop I give him. Oh, she's not here. Weird. Yeah, no way. <laughs> No, Sebastian still hates us. Oh, okay, he does not like peppers. I still don't like how, like... I still don't like how, like... Not many of the characters are in the community center once you beat it. Like, I thought there'd be like certain cutscenes or more cutscenes you'd see. Maybe I just haven't have yet to unlock them, I'm not sure. Oh, he loves peppers! Got it! Does anyone actually like Clint? Way too boring. I mean, just like me, but.
Yeah, no one's here, Sag. Isn't it kind of weird how there's, like, not a school? And the kids are just tutored? I wonder what time period this takes in, like, present day. It's gotta be present day. I've been forgetting to check on these. Because the only things I need for the comm center is the crab pot goods and a few other things. Oh, I need to go to the shop before he closes. I feel bad leaving those shells, but I'm gonna try and be less of a hoarder this year. Part of my resolutions, you know? I say that, but I still keep literally everything, single thing I get in this game. What am I supposed to do with it? Eat it, duh. I think we used to stand... Abigail, I forgot her name. We stand Leia now. Easy clap. Five hundred. That's like nothing. I wish the weekly missions paid out more. And now that I think about it, like twenty five hundred for only twenty five crops is actually not bad. No one's here. I was holding back not to make a topical joke. But we're gonna be nice today. I know she likes shells. But she might like this one? Yes! Haley is Loki such a bitch though? stuff they don't like. He's like, that's not very fun. <laughs> oh, this is me. All the average on my fucking phone. Yeah, let's see if Marnie's open. Then we can pop by the wizard. Then the sewer and then go to the bar again. Is this a gift? <laughs> I love disappointing children. I don't think I- I think I have a few- Pop for fish at home. Ooh. Definitely get that rare seed. Did I need to- no. I was like, did I need to give in anything to the wizard? But at this point it's too late. I don't want to waste time. Because I usually will hold off on the story missions. First year and then just wait till year two once I have everything set up. Do some deforestation, guys. I 
I wish I had like a soundboard. If anyone is familiar with H3H3 Productions, they have a guy dedicated to like maintaining audio and stuff, and then he has like a full soundboard. And there's so many good bits. <laughs> like if I ever had like a production team for anything, I would want to be the soundboard guy. Because it adds so much, like it's little things, but uh, it makes the most, you know? I think I want to come here and chop down trees tomorrow. I'm in a deforesting kind of mood. I think this guy likes honey. Ah, yeah, yeah he's smiling. Off to drink our sorrows away. Did they close at 8? I didn't talk to Muscle Boy yet. Ah, there he is. I like to think that Alex is such like a douchebag name, but the only Alexes I know are super nerdy people. Oh, I didn't talk to the mayor yet. Get back here. Yeah, it's so hard to find... What's his name? The author guy. I think we got... Oh, Robin? Oh yeah, cause she's... <laughs> I forgot. She's upgrading her house right now. Penny, yeah, we missed her. We missed a lot of people. Damn. Okay, well, at least we got majority of everyone today. I forgot to give gifts last week, so I, I'm totally, like, out of the groove. Also, it's raining, so just less people are out when it's raining. can gift her stuff. Before it didn't let me. UM. Okay, so tomorrow I think I want to mine. No, I said I wanted to chop <laughs> I wanted to <laughs> do some deforesting. <laughs> yeah, we'll be chopping trees tomorrow. Ooh, that thunder sounds so nice. Probably gonna buy more seeds as well tomorrow. I only have four radishes. Oh, 
Well, it's almost Friday the 13th. It's always going to be on a Saturday, huh? Oh, look at that. It's still raining. Another thing on this list for awkwardness it says, what's it say? Your friends have told you that when you first met, he seemed awkward or shy. I think I think that's an obvious tell if other people are telling you that you're awkward. <laughs> I think it's fairly obvious at that point. Do some deforestation. Something's here. There we go. I think it's also weird how when people will like lean in. Do awkwardness being their only character trait? I don't think that's like necessarily good. Yes, it is good to like embrace who you are and like love yourself for that, but making that your whole shtick. Because awkwardness is like inherently not necessarily negative, but it's not like looked proudly upon in most social settings. Like when you're considering like a workplace or like an outing, like a social gathering or something. Because entertainment wise, I definitely love like super energetic, like ego personality. Mainly because that's not what I am per se. I think uh, when I watch like romance shows and uh, the thing that irks me so much is when it's like they're like pinning for each other like they obviously like each other and if they confess to each other it would work out but then it drones, it drones on for like way too long and it's just like just confess like if you if you are certain enough to where it's gonna be a yes just do it like don't wait you're just wasting your time. I say that having confessed to four people. All, granted, they all failed. <laughs> but. The one time I got confessed to. I liked him back and it worked out. But don't be scared, you know. What's, what's the worst that could happen? If they, like, stop talking to you, then obviously it wasn't gonna work out anyway. Right? Then they're not worth keeping around if they're not going to look past it, I guess. I'm not saying that it doesn't hurt. Like, short term, it probably will hurt a lot. But if they don't want to stick around, Oh well, right? Find other people. I always get so upset too where you confess to someone, or not you do, when people confess to people and then they get upset if it's a no. Like they think they're entitled to someone loving them back. And it's like, no, that's not how it is. Obviously, if they don't like you back, then it wasn't going to work out anyway. Like you shouldn't be forcing your feelings onto anyone. Past the confession point, rather. Like, don't make them feel guilty for not liking you back.
Because all the times I've confessed, yeah, it hurt in the moment, but like, I got over it. Like, I don't even think about those people anymore. <laughs> Y'all ever have to dig up a stump? It sucks. Cause when you have to dig up a stump, you have to dig up all the roots and shit. Ah. Difficile. Not fun. There's a, okay, it linked- the article linked to Am I Awkward Quiz. I'm gonna see what that is. <laughs> the title's Am I Awkward? No. It's kind of like- Um, you see the memes? Where it's like, if you took the Am I Gay test in middle school, you probably are. <laughs> it's like, if you're questioning something, you, you probably are. You know. <laughs> You see, I didn't take those types of quiz. I just knew. I think it's also funny, like, the cliche BuzzFeed type of quiz. Where it's like, which movie character are you? Or which celebrity would you be best friends with? It just... <laughs> it's so funny. Because, like, you're basically thinking about, like, an RP or, like, a fantasy that you might have. It's great. I did not take any of those BuzzFeed quizzes, just saying. Because, like, when I was in middle school, um, One Direction was really big. And, like, every other girl was, like, into, like, boy bands. And I was like, meh. I think Jonas Brothers was also kind of big, but that was in, when I was in elementary. So kind of before my time. Before my time. I'm fucking 22, man. I think what I want to do for just chatting would be to do the cringy quizzes. I think that would be kind of good. The only thing for like when I start doing just chatting stuff, I need to like pre plan bits. Because, like, yes, I do want to work on my, I guess, improv skills, you may call it. But also, some jokes you can pre write, pre plan, or like make setups for. Because I don't want my commentary to just be sitting there and doing nothing. Kind of like how what YouTube react content when it first started popping off. How people would react to like movie commercials and trailers. Like, I don't want that to be me. Granted, when you're doing like streaming content, you're talking for longer periods of time. Like, i.e. like at least an hour, right? But in comparison, like an edited video is cutting down that hour into 10 minutes, right? You can always cut it together and splice, like, the best bits. I think another thing that's holding me back is... Uh, thinking it won't be good enough. I don't know. That, that's, like, that's the only part where I do lack confidence. Where I, I just need to do stuff. I, I just need to do it. Get past that hurdle. I was talking about this yesterday. But when you look at like bigger streamers or bigger creators, they don't rely on chat a lot. Which makes sense because how can you really give hundreds or thousands of people your undivided attention at all times. Like when I watch Hassan streams, I do, I can just sit there and read chat and be happy. Because there's always something changing, always something going on. But 
The bigger streamers they don't rely on chat for their commentary. Like, the person should be able to maintain basically a conversation with themselves without heavily relying on chat. That's why I get- I'm indifferent about the opinion that like, oh, once people- once so-and-so got big, they started ignoring us or they don't care. But it's like, I don't think people would watch if they're just literally reading chat all day. I don't think that would be good content, right? Because reading chat does take away from like, ooh, I need to eat something. The, like what the broadcaster is doing. Yes, like chat is additive and that's something really nice about live streaming content is that you do get that IRL, or not IRL, in real time interaction. It'd be different if like the premise of the video was chat interaction, like how people do like the TTS or media share. I think that makes sense for the focus to be on chat, right? That's why yesterday, <laughs> I felt so bad. Like, looking back at it, I felt bad. But I had three people chatting consistently for about an hour yesterday. And throughout that hour, like, I would acknowledge every messages occasionally. But I told them, I was like, you know, this is like, the first time I've had three chatters at one time. And I was like, hey, you know, I'm gonna ignore you guys for a little bit just so I get used to not relying on chat too much for what I'm saying. I think they were cool with me, you know. Those two of which were regulars and one person was new. But that's what I was thinking about last night, or a lot last night. Where I need to be able to stand on my own feet. And that's what I'm trying to do today. I do sound a bit raspy. I don't know what's up. I didn't drink a lot of water today yet, so that could be it. Maybe I'm sick. I don't know. I literally don't leave the house. So, like, if I got sick, it's from someone else in this house, not me. Okay, it's 8.50. We chopped down a lot of trees, guys. <laughs> Contributing to that global warming. Yeah, so tomorrow we're probably going to be mining because we definitely need more coal. I want to go and process my geos, but I honestly want to save my money for when I upgrade my house. So once I up fully upgrade my house, I'll probably go and process my geos. Another thing that I battle with... Um... What was I gonna say? Not relying on chat would have to be like being able to talk all the time. I know like it's it, it, it's basically impossible to talk like nonstop when you're streaming. Like I understand there's lulls in periods where you don't talk and that's fine. But I feel bad if I'm not fully engaging all the time. Let's see. Take these out of there. Wrong one. Ah, great. Everything is full. Oh, I know you need the earth crystals for some things, but we're probably gonna sell some stuff. Oh my god, I have so many <laughs> geodes, my god. I like to keep three of each gem, just in case I need it for a mission. And I know for one fish you do need jades. Just sounds so we can get a few extra bucks. Okay. Well, 
let's just shove these crystals in here for now. <laughs> that isn't me just shoving shit randomly. I need to clean my room too. Because I have two desks. One for my computer right here. Where I do like all my techie stuff. So where I stream, where I edit. Where I watch videos. And I got my TV right here. And then I have my like art desk on the other side of my room. And it's just filled with shit. Because I haven't drawn in a bit. So I haven't used that desk in like two weeks. And it's just all my clutters on top of the desk. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, if trees could drop hardwood, oh, uh, let's go. That's pretty good. Oh, no, but, like, we just chopped down all our trees. Bad timing, bad timing. Bad day. Okay, last day of the week. Found this in a drawer? Okay. Goddamn crows. Okay, so today, I want to buy more seeds, and then go mining and check my robin to see what we need to upgrade our house next. I think that's what we're gonna do. So if I go off track, please tell me, because I will forget. Wait, what was our- Oh yeah, the other mission we have is the tomato one, which we don't have to worry about. Because that we have till the end of the season. weird how grapes just grow like this. <laughs> Does I think the grapes grow in fall? Question mark? Fall or spring, one of the two. I had a 50-50 chance on that guess. Fuck, did they all fall in the water? Oh my god. I'm fine, I'm not mad. I'll go cry later. When I was shopping in town, I was thinking, I was like, it's just a good idea. I was like, is it facing the wrong way? Ah, no biggie, it's fine, it'll be fine. But it was not fine. So they're all done at the same time. So satisfying. I wonder if you can hear me spamming A. <laughs> Just me going like this, hoping for the best. I was gonna buy seeds and then mine. That's what I was gonna do. I wish the inventory could be bigger. I know 36 slots is a lot, but I, I honestly need more. Go. 
We're going through so much hay, my god. They eat so much. This is why I can never have kids, like... They eat too much food. Take all my money. When we go to the store, all they want to do is look at toys. Nah. We ain't doing that. Granted, I'm very young, so I might take that back. But I, I've always said that I want to adopt. If I ever have kids. I forgot to put the truffle in here. I was gonna say, can we ferment the beer? But the beer is what you get yeah, when you do the hops. That was a dumb question. We're gonna buy seeds and talk to Robin. I have to say it multiple times because I have ADD brain. Gus, I have just the thing for you. I'm all ears? It's a bundle of locally sourced organic heirloom veggies. These are hand-picked and sorted to ensure only to ensure only the very finest in quality and taste. This is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of offer. Ooh. That sounds pretty good. I could use some quality veggies for the soon. How much does it cost? Uh oh. Only uh What was that? I thought for a moment there, I thought I heard twenty five thousand gold. <laughs> That's right, it, it really is a bargain, isn't it? Imagine. We're gonna hold off on topical jokes. <laughs> Yeah, are you crazy? There's no way you can afford that. I'd have to sell the saloon. I overheard the price. That's outrageous. You should be ashamed. Jody, our local Karen. Wait, how about 10,000 gold then? It's a disaster, piece in. I thought this was a surefire business strategy. Yeah, dude, you marked it up. Wait, ten times. So therefore, a thousand percent. That's insane. <laughs> dude, this is actually crazy. But it turns out, no one is willing to buy vegetables at a ten times price markup. Even if, even if I put the little organic sticker on it. Yeah, no shot, dude. Oh, I'm offended. I go into Karen mode. I don't know which to put because I always say you should be less greedy. But then Pierre hates me. I kind of want to put you win some, you lose some. You're right. You can't run a business without taking some risk. By the way, you look like you could really use a veggie dinner tonight. What do you say? Want to buy these back for the low, low price of... 2,501 gold? Dude, he, he bought all 25 for 2,500. That was just a one set markup. That's insane. He's gonna lose. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna buy... There's like hella radishes. That's gonna take the least amount of time. Oh my god, that's a lot. Ooh, cabbage? Get a handful. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the mine before we go mining. I'm gonna talk to Robin to see if we can upgrade the house. Okay, we got one out of two things done on our checklist for today. Where's this guy? Just like me, doesn't come out of his house very often. Get 
go see what we need. Ooh, just 100k? Nice. We can for sure do that. Easy clap. Ooh, we got some hardwood. Oh, dude, that upgrade is so nice. I know we need coal, but honestly, we need to get those purple mushrooms as well. Easy clap. One hit wonder. <laughs> oh no, that's not the phrase you would use there. It'd be like one shot, not one hit. I didn't get to look through this quiz yet. Oh my god, there's four parts to it. <laughs> Dude. It says, part one, inner monologue. Part two, body language. Part three, conversational topics and content. And part four conversations with groups. Dude, I thought this would be like a five question one off quiz. I did not expect like a 40 minute sit down. <laughs> Maybe we'll save that for another day. Cause I thought I could like skim through it while I play, but honestly, this seems a bit much. A bit out of my league. A bit too much for my ADD brain to handle. I can't even like sit down and read a book anymore. Like that's how far I've fallen off. As I used to love reading in school. I don't know about y'all, but we had like mini tests you can take for every book that you read that was available in the school library. It's called AR testing, which did for accelerated reading. And like each book had a score based on the difficulty. So if it was like a 10 page picture book, it'd be like 5 points, and if it was a 10 chapter book, it'd be like 20 points. Oh fuck, I'm gonna- I'm gonna get clapped here. Oh no. But like, after elementary school, like, my love for reading died. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh. We're gonna heal up just to be safe. Dude, I don't know why my voice is so not deep deep, but it seems deeper today. Dude, I really hope our dryer is fixed. I really do. If not, I'm gonna cry because the past couple of days, I I do my sister's laundry. I'm basically like her personal housemaid. She pays me money, so that's kind of cool. But every day when she comes home from work, she's like, "My laundry done." I'm like, "No, the dryer's not fixed." And like an hour later, she's like, "Can you still do it?" It's like, "No." It's like I will tell you when the fucking dryer is fixed, and then 
you will know it's fixed when you see like your laundry folded and ready for you. So just stop bugging me. Like last night, because um, my dad fixed it, but it, w it didn't work. So we had to wait till he got home to look at it again. And they were out of the house for like four hours. And every hour, my sister would come to my room. She's like, hey, is it done yet? I'm like, no, I, I told you literally an hour ago that it's still broken. I don't get why you're still bugging me. I mean, that's how siblings are, let's be honest. I do bother her a lot as well, so I cannot be talking shit too much. But when I bother her, I usually just go in a room and say hi. I'm lonely. Oh, that guy didn't even fight back. He's like, just take me. He's like, I'm done. Come on, I just want some purple shrooms. Let's not go that way yet. I should honestly upgrade to the better sword. I've been holding off on upgrading because I've been saving my money. I think once we get the seller, we can finally get that sword. Because I haven't touched the desert, the desert area yet. Forgetting that I have coffee in my inventory, I just carry it to carry it, I guess. I think the slimes are still my least favorite enemy. Because I hate how they like attack and then go away and then come back. Their move their moveset is not like as predictable. Oh saved. Okay, it's 940, we have a little bit more time. But well, I, I actually should go back because I do need to plant those seeds. That way, I don't forget. Oh my god, I'm running so fast! <laughs> oh fuck! I didn't mean to harvest that flower. Getting too ahead of myself. Okay, you're good. We got two coal, Sag. rearrange and put these in a different crate. There we go. Where did I put the algae? Did I get rid of it? Yes, so. Oh, 
Oh, why'd I put the cheese? <laughs> I put the cheese in there. Okay, we can sell most everything else. There we go. Okay, I think we're ready for the next week. Nothing we really do. Just focus on grinding. Oh yeah, okay, we just need 100k for the hospital. That's what we need. We don't need any supplies. Sheesh, 19k? My god. Oh man, we have 43 pickled items. That's why. My goodness. 19k? Yeah, I said 19. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so let's pause. And save here. So, um, I'm gonna call it a day here. Thank you to anyone who came in. We had Cutie Lee show up earlier in chat. Thank you. I appreciate any chatters or lurkers I had today. Um, I will be back again, same time, 11 a.m. PST. I might- I kinda wanna do Mario Kart tomorrow. I haven't played in a week, I, I wanna dip my toes back in. So I think I will do the 200cc Grand Peas, get the rest of the gold trophies in those. But yeah, if you're new here, Rob Fogg helps me out. If you're returning newer, I appreciate you. I will see everyone tomorrow, and I hope y'all have a great day. Okay, bye.